obviously big difference from tonight and Sunday's game was Washington shooting percentage. Um, coming into the game, were you expecting coach to use Maisha Hines Allen the way he did, especially after the game she had on Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. Maisha is a really good player. And uh, yeah, she just got back from overseas. So, yeah, you know, I didn't, I, I was expecting her to start and expecting her to play a lot, which she did. So. And then you have a lot of players who can fill the stat sheet, but Kelsey Mitchell is obviously a big part of your offense. What did Washington do early on to keep the ball out of her hands? Well, I think they made her the focal point, you know, defensively and just keeping the ball out of her hands and, uh, you know, just made it tough. You know, she had to work extremely hard for every point, and I'm sure that was something that they talked about. Um, but, I, you know, I'm more concerned that that we were not physical enough. They were much more physical today than they were the other day, and we didn't match the physicality, and, and um, you know, we didn't defend as well. I mean, we can't let te- a team make three, 12 three-pointers, and uh, some of that was they spread you out so well, and then they isolated Tina. She still got 30. You know, you would think that she wasn't a, a focal point of uh, what we were trying to do defensively, but she's that good, and they spread you out. And when you try to bring help, you know, it just creates opportunities for other people, you know. And so, for example, like Ariel Atkins shot it really well today. And, of course, Maisha was more herself today than she was the other day. You know, they, they played much better, no doubt. And, um, you know, we, we – have to be better defensively and you know that's a work in progress but you know I I don't think we match the physicality of the game and uh, that's something that you know we got to learn from and we got to bring it every night. You mentioned the physicality do you feel like the amount of injuries that you had amongst the team with players out like Betty Hattar and players coming back from injuries do you feel like that could have played a, a role in it? Yeah, I mean, we missed not having Betty out there. You know, that, that's one thing. We're not going to make excuses. They, play, they played much better. We weren't quite as good defensively, that, but they made some adjustments that made it difficult for us. And, and uh, Hines Allen played a, a role in that. And uh, Ariel Atkins, those two stepped up and played a whole lot better. And then as a team, you know, it seemed like everybody was making threes. Um, the only one who didn't shoot well from the, the three-point line pretty much was was Tina, but you know they got they got good minutes from everybody that played and shot the ball better and and uh, you know that's what Washington's signature thing is: spread you out and you know make a lot of threes. So you do as best you can to limit that. The other day we were successful. Today not so much. And then even with Washington hitting the way that they were, they were still parts of the game where you were able to get it down to the eight down to 10 just how much energy does a team have to expel when trying to make a comeback like that yeah it's tough I mean it's difficult but you know just back to the threes for a second you know they made 12 threes that's 36 points from the three-point line we made five you know we shot 35 percent which isn't bad but 36 to 15 that's a big differential that's 21 more points from the three-point line some of that had to do with the fact that, uh, you know, they played through both Hines Allen and Tina Charles. And if you help at all, they're going to find open people. And, you know, their players were ready to catch and shoot and make shots today. And they did. So uh, that just made it tough. It's, it's hard. You, you know, you try to double team Tina because she's so strong, but um, they spread you out so far. That it's really difficult to do. And so individually, you just try to try to, keep her in check and she's tough one-on-one that's the problem she's tough one-on-one and so is Heinz Allen and then last one for me uh you mentioned last week that you know the schedule hasn't given you any favors you got a tough five game road trip coming up what's sort of the mindset going into not only just Friday's game but trying to you know make the most of the road trip well you know we, we'll look at this film and and uh, be better from it and we got to go out to Las Vegas first, you know, ready to go win a basketball game uh, and then repeat it, you know, two days later. So, um, you know, everybody's dealing with schedule for us. We haven't had a whole lot of time in between games in the early going, which is unfortunate. You know, with a new team, it would be really nice to have a couple of extra days to prepare and a couple extra days to examine what you did in the last game 
learn from it, work on some things, and then prepare for the next one. We don't have that kind of time. So uh, it is what it is, and we'll we'll uh, be prepared to go out to Vegas and the West Coast and, and win some basketball games. Um, but we're not going to get you know multiple days in between for a while yet. I uh, got time for one more, guys. Nathan Addison. Yes, uh, hey. Hey, Coach, collectively, how do you prepare to just get that momentum to, to get those wins on the board to uh, turn uh, the season around? Although I know you guys are not one in five. Just got to go out and play hard and keep getting better each time out. You know, our task right now is to be better, you know, than we were tonight. So the next time out, we got to be better. We got to look at film. We got to get in the gym and shoot. Uh, we have to practice and prepare and just be better our next time out. That's the task. Tough to do when you don't have a lot of time uh, in between games, um, because right now, you know, you flush this scouting report, you get the next one, you know, ready and, and uh, have the players digest it and ready to play. Uh, so we're kind of in that cycle right now where we're playing game with a day in between, play another game, day in between, play another game, kind of like in the bubble last year, and it's a little bit of a grind. So it is what it is, and we'll deal with it and just be prepared to play every time out. Obviously, you know, tailored two games from Sunday to Thursday. Uh, just what was Washington doing tonight to be able to free themselves up along the perimeter? Um, I think just our defensive intensity and our defensive sense of urgency wasn't uh, where it needs to be tonight. And Washington's a good team. They made shots tonight. They made their threes tonight. Tina had 30 again. Um, yeah, they shot the ball really, really well. And then um, once they get going, it's hard to slow them down. Um, and so that's what you saw. When having to guard a player like Tina, especially when she had a big night on Sunday, going in, what was this? What was the plan for her? Was there sort of like a like a benchmark you wanted to hold her under? Or was it more of stopping her surrounding pieces? Um, it was more so just trying to make things tougher again for her. Um, we were going to just throw more bodies at her, try to double team her, just get the ball out of her hands, just kind of clog the paint for her and just make it tough for her to see, tough for her to get to her right hand hook, which she loves. Um, but yeah, she just got loose a few times and then um, the shoe just got going around her. So then it was just kind of picking your poison at that point for us. And then early on to start the game, uh, Kelsey really wasn't able to get the ball in her hands. Like it wasn't that she wasn't shooting well, just she really wasn't getting the looks. Um, what was Washington doing defensively to sort of take her out of the picture? Yeah, I think um, they ratcheted up their defensive intensity and they started icing the ball screens a bit tougher and then bringing the nail guard over from the opposite side as well. And so really just kind of clogging the paint um, and making us think a little bit more and making and making sure that we didn't get into the paint like what Kelsey was getting in um, the game on Sunday. Um, so I think, yeah, in the first half we were uh, – we were running our like motion set and trying to get some wing ball screens, but we really weren't getting anything because they were icing it pretty well and bringing everyone else over. And so um, we had to make an adjustment in the second half. And I think she got a bit more free and got the ball more in her hands. But um, by then it was probably too late. And then uh, final one for me, this team has been pretty banged up. You got Lauren and John Tell coming back off of injuries tonight. Betty was out just how, how much could this three-day break benefit this team? Yeah, I think it'll just be very important, I think, um, physically, but also mentally. And being able to just have this day off tomorrow, Wednesday, and rest our bodies, but also rest our minds and, you know, kind of flip the switch from tonight's game to this weekend's games against um, Vegas, which I think we will. But, um, yeah, that break is very important. Anybody else have anything for Lindsay? Yeah, I got one, Ryan. Go uh, ahead, Lindsay, what was, what was it like seeing uh, Muffin McGraw in the stadium at the same time you guys were playing? Oh, that was great. Um, it's always good to see Coach McGraw. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to meet up with her later or not. I'm not sure where her plans are. But, yeah, it's always great to see her and great to have her at the games and watching and just supporting all of the alums um, that she's coached.
Um, what both what Coach and Lindsey just got done saying is that defensive intensity just wasn't there tonight. Um, from your perspective on the court, just what felt different from tonight versus Sunday? Yeah, I think it was um, just that, just a, a lack of intensity. Um, we, we seemed like we were a step slow. Uh, we didn't dictate. We were the ones reacting to whatever they were doing. So that was definitely the difference. Um, I think on Sunday, we really dictated what we wanted them to do, um, you know, how they were moving offensively. And tonight, we didn't do that. I know on Sunday, Tina Charles was, you know, being Tina Charles, but tonight it seemed like she had more help, especially from Maisha Hines Allen. Just how difficult was trying to also focus on Charles, but also having her teammates emerge? Yeah, well, I mean, we knew that they were going to make adjustments, that people um, were going to step up. Obviously, Tina played well again, and they were knocking down shots. They shot it, what, 50% from the field or something like that. So, um, that can't happen. Our defense just has to be better. Um, doesn't matter who we're playing. I mean, everybody has great players. Everybody's going to make plays, but um, we just have to be better defensively. I know there's a lot of players mm -hmm. on that can fill this stat sheet, get buckets, but Kelsey is definitely sort of a, a tone setter on this team. Washington did a good job of keeping the ball out of her hands early. When she's not able to get involved in the offense like that, what has to happen to stay on track? Yeah, well, um, other people have to make plays, and we have to make it easy for her, um, knowing how they're guarding her defensively, um, whether it's, you know, getting her a layup or, um, you know, setting more screen for her. She's great on the ball, but she's also great off the ball. So running, you know, making the defense run through screens. Um, but other people have to step up as well. We can't rely on Kelsey to do it um, every single night. Everybody has to be aggressive, and that'll open things up for her as well. This team believes in its philosophy and what it can do, even being down. You all never got into just a three-point contest with Washington, and you were still able to cut their lead down to eight and 10. But when you're trying to get back into a game that way, how much energy does that expel from a team? Yeah, well, I mean, um, you definitely expel a lot of energy, but at the end of the day, like, we put ourselves in that position, so we have to dig deep. Um, you know, we're not playing for the next two days, so there's really no excuse, uh, you know, to not play hard every single position. And, um, you know, we're going to face this every single night. It's not going to get easier. And so we just have to really dig deep uh, and figure out who we want to be uh, for the rest of our season. You mentioned not playing for the next two days. How beneficial would this break be, especially with as players, you know, try to get back in the fold after coming off their own injuries? Yeah, well, um, I mean, with our schedule, every off day, we just have to take advantage of knowing that we're going into a, a crazy couple of day um, week, basically, um, coming up. Uh, it would have been better to, to go in there with a win, um, but we just got to regroup. Everybody get, got to get ready mentally, um, physically, and just we're just going to have to grind every single day. Um, like I said, it's not going to get easier, and we just have to really lock into who we want to be and how we want to play this season. And it's a while before you're back in Indiana, five game road road trip, going into something like that. Where does your team have to be at mentally to be able to take advantage of it? Uh, we have to be at the top of our game. We have to be confident. Um, we have to trust one another. Uh, the team that you saw Sunday play is the team who we have to be. Um, and that's going to get us wins. We can't come in soft. We can't come in um, not playing with confidence, not trusting each other. Uh, but it, it's really going to be one game at a time. Like I said, that team that, that showed up on Sunday, we have to um, even be better than them, but that's that's a good start for us. Um, I know D-Rob and Lindsey just got off the call, just and they both sort of hammered down that the defense just sort of felt flat tonight, that that energy from Sunday just wasn't there. From your perspective on the court, what felt off, and why do you feel like the defense wasn't as energized? Um. I mean, we let a player, she's really good, Tina, uh, get going pretty early. Uh, and we just didn't make an adjustment. So uh, I think that's on us to realize um, with being on the court to try to slow her down, um, make other people try to beat us. But also, you know, their guards were hitting shots tonight as well. So, I mean, it was just a tough assignment um, defensively for us as a whole and as a team. We just need to be better. And then I know this team is particularly pretty banged up. You got players coming back off of 
injuries. Betty was out tonight. Just how important is this two-day break coming up mentally and physically? Um, yeah, like I think it's necessary. Um, you know, we've been grinding it out for the past couple of weeks. So um, we're headed to the West Coast for nine days. Um, so we're going to have to try to just recover as much as possible, get treatment, get in the gym, do things that we need to do just to get prepared for these games. On road trips like the one that you have coming up, what are ways that the team can stay locked in and not let, you know, being away from home get the best of them? Uh, I mean, just watching film, um, trying to just get off our feet, honestly. Like, we're playing every other day at this point. So um, we just got to figure it out. I mean, it's going to get harder from here. So um, I think everybody is going to take the account accountability um, individual-wise and hopefully uh, collectively we come together.